After I uploaded a video about my Cloud Chamber, I got asked by several people how the Cloud Chamber works and what components I used. The Cloud Chamber I built is a Diffusion Cloud Chamber and the working principle of this type of Cloud Chamber is pretty simple. On top of the chamber, a piece of felt is soaked with alcohol. You can use ethanol, methanol or isopropyl alcohol. In my case, I'm using isopropyl alcohol because I had the best results with it. Right below the felt, you can see a metal mesh that is connected to a high voltage source. The other pole of the high voltage source is connected to the cold plate. The high voltage increases the visibility of the track significantly. The cold plate of the cloud chamber is cooled to around minus 35 degrees Celsius. You could use dry ice to cool the plate if you wanted to build a quick and cheap cloud chamber. In my case, Peltier elements are used to cool the plate. When the cloud chamber is running, the alcohol on the felt will vaporize and a layer of supersaturated alcohol vapor will form above the cold plate. If something like an ionized particle disturbs the supersaturated vapor, the alcohol condenses and a cloud trail will form. This process is comparable to the hand warmers you use in the winter time. In these hand warmers a supersaturated salt solution and the salt solution is comparable to the supersaturated vapor in the cloud chamber is in a metastable state and if you disturb this state by pressing on the metal chip inside a nucleization point is created and the salt will fall out of solution. You can even differentiate between different kinds of radiation. Alpha particles will form thick and short tracks, while beta particles will form thinner and curved tracks. The bottom plate of my cloud chamber has a diameter of around 15 cm and is cooled by four Peltier elements. The elements I am using are TEC2, 25, 4 or 8. These elements are two-stage Peltier elements. You could use single-stage Peltier elements and stack them, but this comes with several drawbacks. I achieved the best results by using the two-stage elements. Since Peltier elements are basically electrical heat pumps, you have to carry away the heat from the other side. If the hot side does not get cooled sufficiently, the cold side will not reach the desired temperature. These four Peltier elements produce a considerable amount of heat. For that reason, I decided to use a water cooling loop with two radiators. I bought two cheap aluminum water blocks, each of them is 120 by 40 mm, and connected them in series. These water blocks are held in place by a 3D printed bracket that can be screwed to the base plate of the cloud chamber. This bracket also presses the cold plate against the base plate, and a recess holds the plate in place. Each of the Peltier elements draws about 8 amps at 12 volts. I connected them in parallel, so I could use a 12 volt 50 amps power supply. This power supply also supplies the small water pump for the cooling loop, a step down converter that is used to feed about 1.5 volts to the high voltage generator and the fans of the radiators. When designing the 3D printed base plate, I created a notch where I could install an LED strip to illuminate the cold plate. Since my measurements were a little bit off, the strip did not fit perfectly. The glass dome was also bought from Amazon for around 30 bucks. If you have any questions about the cloud chamber or the construction, just write me a comment. If you want to give me feedback or have some criticism about the cloud chamber, just let me know. I read all of the comments and I will answer you as soon as possible.